Hey guys, it's been a little while since I last spoke to you, so I hope everything's been going well. Today, I wanted to talk to you about um, who do you value most, or not necessarily who you value most, but would it be a bigger compliment if someone said you're a good friend, or if you were like family? Because for me, I would definitely say the latter. And that's mainly because for me, my family and what it means for someone to be part of my family is quite big. And that's not necessarily um, to do with like relationships in the sense that like my blood relationships, but to do with the connotations it has in the community that I live in and the fact that someone um, who is like family is often someone you can trust completely, someone who's always there for you. And I think the only reason I don't um, highly um, I don't necessarily value the word friend as much it's probably because I don't I haven't actually had a friend who I've had to rely on so much because I have I have family who I believe to be that sort of that sort of person for me and I think this is where it sort of comes down to um I don't necessarily know if you know if it's just to do with the kind of family structure I have or the fact that um, the people I tend to open up most to or have my most down moments with are my family and therefore I don't feel like I necessarily branch out to my friends too much or just the fact that I've definitely seen uh, really close family relationships like within like my blood family so uh, for example my mum and my uncle are really really close and I don't think I've I've seen like that exactly replicated within myself with any friends that I have but I think what's really interesting is how it can look from the outside and how it is when you look inside. And I think I've explored this before in the sense that some relationships are like, I've I found myself before thinking like I would love to be friends with so and so person because you know they're a really cool person. I feel like I would have a really good, you know, I would have a really good time with them. But at the same time, um, it's really interesting to think about what your friendships look like looking in because they might someone else might think the same thing with you and your friends. And I think it, that's why it's really important to realise that all the relationships you have do have value. And therefore, whether you believe that uh, your friends have been there for you more than your family, you know, I think it does really come down to what that relationship constitutes for you and, you know, which one you value more and how that's been in your life because obviously not everyone has supportive parents or parents they feel like they can talk to, um, but sometimes friends can do more for you than that. So it's, yeah, I found that really interesting because uh, the two friends I talked to about it did say friends over family and that did strike me because I've always thought the opposite. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, do you think that being called part of someone's family is a bigger, you know, has, carries more value than just being called a friend? Or do you think that what you constitute as family shouldn't necessarily just be cut down to um, blood relationships and therefore you could have a family of friends which could be as close as a blood family, but that doesn't necessarily, you know, you can sort of mix the two together, I guess. So I'd love to hear what you think. I hope you've had a wonderful time doing what we're doing and I will see you next time. Bye bye.